So not only do you guys not have officer complaint forms, Listen, you're saying... If you want to make the complaint, talk to the chief. I'm not, I'm offering you that. Can I talk to an officer right now? They're busy. You know what, I don't have my pen. Can I grab a pen? No? You won't let me borrow a pen? No. Alright, I got that filled out. Well done. I'll give it to the chief. Uh, can I get a timestamp copy? No. Yeah. That's how it works. No, it's not how it works. That is how it works. You have to give me a timestamp copy of the FOIL request. Down here today in the Village Hall of Fredonia, New York. Have an opera house connected right inside here, it looks like. Let's go take a look inside. Make sure they respect our rights to video record in public. copy of the village budget um I could get it to you you have to foil it I'm just saying you got one available I could just look over real quick here I don't the treasurer is gone for the day she's gone for the she day have a copy but it would be something I'd ask you to foil the actual is it online at all it's it is on our website but you don't have a, village, New York there's record. no physical copy in the office here not here but across the hall but across she's gone hall. for the day all right thank you sure no problem call back tomorrow and she'll get it for you all right thanks okay Fast over the No, I'm just getting some footage of the inside of the building and uh, on a, for a story I'm working on. Story? Yeah, in the village hall story? here. On the village hall and uh, specifically just the village hall, what's available in the inside and some of the employees, some of how the people get treated here by the employees and that, that's all. Can I get your name? Chuck, what do you do here? All right, thank you very much, Chuck. Right, I'm just getting some photos, I'll be on my way. All right, you have a great day. Thank you. Thank you Seems to be a conference going on in there. He's a pretty cool guy.
real old building. Courtrooms, yeah, we ain't gonna go up in the courtrooms. Definitely some old stairways and some old wooden stairwells in here. much going on down here in Fredonia, a pretty quiet little town, village I should say. This is right next to the dump cart. The opera house is pretty cool. I'm not trying to push into the third floor and get up in that courtroom area. This is an old, beautiful building, that's for sure. Pretty good. All set. Yeah, let's take a couple photos of the vehicles here and uh, work on a little story. I'll be on my way. Thank you very much. I like that. No problems here. This one got inspected today. Oh no, it's January. I thought it was a December punch. December 1st. Fredonia must have seen Dunkirk video. It's cool. We got this big old Dodge truck, you know.
minutes off of doing it. Gonna do it down here today. That's a pretty cool building. I find out this police station got an officer complaint form available to take home. That's a cool statue. Uh, entrance to the opera house there's probably some major history to that I know out in this area I Love Lucy was filmed and uh, a few other shows like that out this way can I help you? yeah I'm looking to possibly get an officer complaint form and a FOIL request form I can Give you an officer, uh, oil request form if you want an officer complaint. You have to I'll, um, yeah, I'd like to speak to somebody about an officer complaint form, please. You have to wait till tomorrow at 7 a.m. when the chief comes in. The chief? You hear in my voice, I say, the chief? Because what the chief means in real life is we're going to send you to a voicemail, tell you he's not here, yada, yada, yada. You're never speaking to the chief. So, when they say going to the chief, I don't think so. Yeah. What about the um, lieutenant? There is no lieutenant. Sergeant? There is a sergeant. Is he, is he able to talk to me about that officer complaint form or no? Do you have a complaint against an officer or? Yeah, if I, I have a complaint against an officer here for a Fredonia police officer, I want to take an officer complaint form home. May I talk to the? There's no officer complaint form. You guys don't have an. Is there? Can I talk to the sergeant? You can talk if you have a problem with one of the officers. You have to talk to the chief. There's nobody to be able to talk no. to right now about that. No. You guys don't provide officer complaint forms at all to anybody who comes and gets them. No, we don't have any. We never had any. If you have a complaint against an officer, you come talk to the chief. But say I had one right now and I was here to talk to somebody, nobody would talk to me about that? That is correct. You have to call the chief. So not only do you guys not have officer complaint forms, Listen, you're saying... If you want to make the complaint, talk to the chief. I'm not, I'm offering you that. Can I talk to an officer right now? They're busy. So what if I had a real problem, I'm saying? What, what do you have a problem? I need to talk to an officer about an Regarding officer complaint what? form. Regarding what? Regarding the complaint form procedure and that. The complaint form procedure is, like I told you, we have no forms. We never had any forms. Any complaint about an officer. Do you have a FOIL request form I can get? To, you're not listening to me. You must talk to the chief about any complaint about any officer in the building. You got a FOIL request form? I do have a FOIL request form and I will glad to give it to you. That, thank you. I'm sorry? Come on in. Oh, you just came in. There's no officer available to talk to, though? No. What's that? You have to talk to the chief. The, the sergeant, though, he's not willing to come talk to me for a second? I just seen him out back, the one that was just here. What was your name? Why do you need to know my name? 
Do you have a name or a badge number? 52. 52? Correct. Thank you. You know what? I don't have my pen. Can I grab a pen? No. No? You won't let me borrow a pen? No. Alright, I'll go up to the town hall and borrow a pen. Maybe they'll be more helpful down there. Well, who pays your guys' paycheck? Do you know that? Who pays your guys' paycheck? The village? And who pays the village? The taxpayers, and that, that, that's who's down here right now asking for some service, and you're down here acting like I'm a problem. I'm, I'm simply asking some, some simple questions, and you're being a real, uh, real jerk, to be honest. And you're a public servant. Where do you live? I don't answer questions. Well, then I don't have to you don't have to, as a public servant, answer questions? You have no Who do you think you work for down here? I don't work for you. Can I get a pen? No. That's what you want to show everybody how you guys serve people down here, huh? All right. All right. I'll be right back. It buzzed me back in. I got that foil filled out. Okay, hold on. You said that was badge 53, right? No, I said 52. 52? All right, I got that filled out. Hold on, I'll give it to the chief. Uh, can I get a timestamp copy? No. Yeah, that's how it works. No, it's not how it works. That is how it works. You have to give me a timestamp copy of the FOIL request. You know that you wouldn't give me a pen, but the town clerk gave me one to keep. Are you guys short on pens down here? Would you like one? I need a timestamp copy of that. I need a timestamp copy of that. Well, you better get me an officer. If I got a summon one, I mean, I can knock two, I guess. Is this the first time you guys filled a foil request for God's sakes? Sergeant, can I talk to you? How you doing? I'm busy, man, but he, listen, she wrote the time on there. It's on my body cam. It's recorded. It's time stamped. There's that, your that's what request. I needed. That's all I needed. All right. Thank you. You guys got a, a copy. This is, you guys got a copy. She, she has the original to give to the chief. All right. Perfect. Thank all you right. very much. Have can I get day. your name and badge number? Sergeant Testa, 68. Thank you very much. Yep. Testa, 68. Thank you very much. Yep. Not give me a timestamp copy of the out of their mind.
beautiful town. Got this little park out front here. Just don't like accountability out here. This is pretty close to Dunkirk. This is a neighboring town. Oh, look at that. What do we got here? Let's check it out. Post office. Post office down here in Fredonia. Fredonia post office checks out and looks. Got the standard shipping stuff in here. These cards. Turnstile. Mailboxes are cool. They got the glass fronts. You can see if you got mail on them. I don't know if I've ever seen boxes like that. Clear. for Santa. are out here for your passports. Hi. How you doing? Yeah, hey, can I get a book of stamps? You can move in. Do you have a preference of what they are? Oh, I like American flags. Okay. Just one book? Yeah, one book, please. Okay. Two books of the snowman. Two books of the Santas. Okay, just one book you said? Yes, please. Okay. Two of each of those? 1160. Did you need anything else? Any um, P.O. box information? Um, no. Those P.O. boxes are pretty cool back there with the glass. I've never, I've been to a lot of post office, but I've never, I've never actually seen glass fronts like that. That's pretty neat. Is this the Letters to Santa box? Yeah, we do that every year. That's pretty cool. Okay, so 840 is your change. There's 840. Thank you. And your stamps. Would you like your receipt? Yes, please. Okay. All right, there you go. And there is a survey on the bottom of it. Thank you very much. You've been very helpful. Okay. The post office down here. No problem with the First Amendment rights to record in here.
jog through this park here, check it out. Let's get you guys a view of Fredonia here a little bit. The Village Hall and Police Station. No office or complaint for them, sad. They don't want to talk to the people. Cool. Little park. Gazebo over there with the Christmas tree. And that's the village of Fredonia. Look at these old drinking fountain right there, huh? Dang. A little Santa house or something going on here. I don't know what this is on here in the square. It looks like a visitor center. Kind of specifically are you looking yeah well the building i work on stories on the village halls and town halls and then sometimes you see some pretty neat things in there first time i ever seen a village hall with a theater in it so maybe you could just tell me a little bit about history how it started uh, sure. was the theater always here with its village hall yep. um so the entire building was completed and opened in 1891 and it opened right from the beginning as the village hall and the theater um, and it was called the Grand Opera House when it was open and really it was a vaudeville theater at the time so there, there were traveling shows vaudeville shows that were performed here there also were silent movies because that was the time of silent movies I and love Lucy ever make it here uh, who I love Lucy or any no, of them shows I know they're them. right pretty close to here yeah the Jamestown yeah um, no the probably the there's rumor that George Burns and Gracie Allen performed here. We're still trying to document that. We don't know. Um, Gypsy Rose Lee performed here when she was a young girl. Mm -hmm. um, Harry Keller performed here. He was a famous music, uh, magician back then. He was Harry Houdini's mentor. Mm -hmm. um, and then also um, the rumor is that the Marx Brothers were here. And that's why, and they did... They were received terribly. People didn't like them and they hated Fredonia and that's why they named the corrupt country in their movie Duck Soup, Fredonia, to okay. get back at us. But it's just, that's just legend yeah. and lore. It's not true. They were never here. Um, I think every city named Fredonia in the country probably has a story like that, <laughs> that the Marx Brothers were here. Um, but no, it was a vaudeville theater with silent movies um, gradually as silent movies kind of found their way out and talking pictures became the norm, this eventually just became a movie house and from the mid-1920s until 1981. It was just a straight movie theater. And then it closed in 1981. It was in terrible condition. The whole building was in terrible condition. And the village leaders at the time, they wanted to tear the building down and build a new just a government center it's definitely a gorgeous so building to, I'm oh okay good <laughs> so um it's a beautiful building but the, the citizens in the village said oh you can't tear the building down you know is that there's something you can't you restore it can't you do something else with it because it's it's a significant building in the town square it's architecturally interesting so they did they said that they would restore village hall if they put a, a ballot referendum on the november election ballot to borrow money to restore village hall and they and included voters, this they didn't include this voters didn't know that they passed it anyway and the village restored the village hall portion but they didn't touch the theater they didn't want anything to do with the theater so those citizens came together and they formed the Fredonia Preservation Society and they raised the money and they did the volunteer work and got a grant and they restored the theater and it reopened in 1994 and it's been run by a nonprofit organization um, ever since year round and so we're a tenant of the village we rent the theater from the village right. and operate and manage it um, always from the beginning when it opened in 1891 
the village also used it for community and town meetings mm -hmm. you know, as a gathering space if there was anything important going on in the village this was the space that it was kind of shared mm -hmm. and we still do that to this day um, there are sometimes public hearings here and community-wide events um, a few years ago when Fredonia was in the running for the small business revolution the rallies were held here in the theater and when we actually won uh, and where the, the village won the small business revolution um, this place went wild it was just packed uh, with to the rafters with citizens very excited cool um, about that and there is a there's another um, it's not terribly uncommon it, to have a theater like this in a village hall in um, Lancaster New York up south of yeah. Buffalo yeah, I'm the same thing, Lancaster. The Lancaster Opera House is is located in the village hall oh. it's configured differently we occupy one half of the whole building they are located on the third and fourth floor so their government offices are I know I've been in that building yeah but I didn't realize it was the village hall too I've yeah, been in there for when I would think I was younger I was in there for like arts and crafts or something when I was a kid but yeah yeah I, I've definitely been in there that one but I didn't realize it was the village hall as well yeah so the first we'll few have to check it out are village hall and then and then it's the opera house on the top and there are there are places like this in Ohio also, so I think it was kind of a northeastern trend back when then. they restored this uh, section in the rest of the town hall. Is it pretty much restored to original what way it would have looked, or no. this place probably would have looked different? No, it would have looked very different originally. There were um, it was a frescoed ceiling and frescoed walls. Um, right now we have a tin ceiling that was added in the twenties. And at the time of the restoration, there were missing panels. So you could see that there was a frescoed ceiling underneath it. Mm -hmm. And they talked a lot about, do we, do we remove the ceiling and restore to the fresco era? Or do we keep the ceiling, which was in good condition, other than missing some panels? Mm -hmm. And um, when they went into the attic above it and explored, they, could, they found huge pieces of the frescoed ceiling just missing. I mean, they could look down through the rafters and see the tin. Yeah. So it kind of answered, the question answered itself. We're going to go with the tin. But this color scheme is from one of the redecoration. There were three major um, decorating schemes. One when it opened, one in 1903-04, and one in the 1920s. This color scheme is from the 1920s so it was the burgundies and the greens and the golds we don't know that the colors are in the exact same place that they were then but we know from researching and analyzing the layers of paint um, on plaster that was replaced and um, pieces that had come off we gave to Sherwin Williams and they went through and analyzed it and gave us a, a collection of well here are, are the colors that were used each time it was redecorated oh, so great. so there is a historical connection to these colors. so they were able to take that one chunk scrape a little yeah, paint off take the next yep, game to yep. sand a little down take each all right that's pretty cool yeah and tell us you know okay so you know here's on this layer and then this is what's beneath that and this is what's beneath that so well it's definitely gorgeous and i'm sure well, the people are you. very very happy that it's still here and not uh turned into some modern looking oh, yeah, no architecture no well, <laughs> spiral staircases and type of stuff so because that was the objective they were going to the building would be gone and they were going to do a modern government center and merge and to house both village and town offices and you know this is so much more interesting and yeah. i'm sure i guarantee you there would not have been a theater well in would it be all right if i went up to the balcony yeah, yeah, to take a couple um, of photos like this yeah, broke uh, off and get some permission to go sure, up there sure yeah quick. because they're doing a rehearsal soon they're Just performing tomorrow night get in there get some of the architecture sure yeah, yeah on my way but thank you very much for the, for the kind uh welcome, welcome and uh taking a chance to talk to me glad that you're interested thanks from upstairs in the balcony of this place. Chandeliers. Hi there. The thing wood. It's an old prop piece. 
out of the way and then as we get a better picture like this I guess here's an old thing where they used to pull the ropes up got some performers down there stretching for the performance tonight the step and almost took a dive. She is gorgeous. And that's the opera house inside the Fredonia Village Hall. look like royalty out in here as you would expect some velvet nice velvet red seats quick glimpse inside the uh, room up here control panels for all the lighting 